Hi everyone, welcome to Kairos House. Today we're going to be setting up our brakes. Okay, so today we're going to be setting up our brakes because at the moment we haven't got any oil in them at all. So first we're going to do the front brake. Over here, front brake is the right one. So things we're going to need, we've got our Shimano mineral oil, a couple of syringes, a bleed pot, some hoses, something to keep the hose attached, an adapter for the STI lever to the bleed pot, 7mm spanner. Okay, so we've drawn up our syringe full of mineral oil. Now we're just going to set the brake. So you need to take this bleed cap off of the port. So I've just taken it completely off. Okay, the syringe is set up. It's on the bleed port. This little plastic clip comes over the top just to hold it so it doesn't fall off. I've opened up the valve and then basically just push the fluid through up into the handlebars. Okay, this goes on the STO lever and then that screws into there. Okay, that's set up, so the adapter's in the STO lever and then the cup. So all we're going to do now is take that out, leave it there, come down and start squeezing that. It's going in and we should see some fluid come out of the top shortly. There it is, see? You can see it coming in the bottom there. There we go. That's easy. So we're going to put the stopper in there. Um, the stopper will stop all the oil falling out. Then we're going to put the bleed cap back on the STI lever and then test the brake. Okay, so I've closed it up and we are getting about there. But if you're unhappy with it, it's just put the bleed pot back in and then just tap, close the brake, tap, 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 tap. And you'll see air bubbles coming in. There we go, there's an air bubble straight away and another one. So all I'm doing is just braking and that'll be replaced with fluid. And this is also a technique I use. My brakes get spongy or something. Rear caliper is being taken off the frame because it kind of is a little bit uphill and then you've got to push it down. So we're going to make everything downhill. It's going to go through the frame. The bike is tilted up at a weird angle and then it's going to come out of here, so we'll just start pushing it through, as we did before. I can hear it creaking. Brake is now reattached, the port is closed. I'll put the bung on in a little bit, but I'm just going to bleed the lever back and forth just to see if we've got any air. There we go. Back brake is always the hardest one because it's got to travel the furthest, yeah? So we'll just do that. I'll just carry on doing that. You can see the principle. Okay guys, I've got the bike sticking up and you can see this sticking out of here. I actually rounded off the two mil Allen key. So I've hammered in a Torx 10 bit into the uh, cap there. The material is so soft. Oh man, it just, it just rounds so easy. I was just screwing it up, got it tight, and then it just rounded and I was like, ah. Oh, are you joking me? But the Torx 10 bit is fine. I've just hammered it in. Um, it's pretty solid. I can do it and undo it. I'm just going to leave the bike up here. Um, we've almost got it. All the air, I'm hoping, works its way up. Just back and forward. Just takes a bit of time when you're first doing it. It's not difficult. Just have faith in yourself. As you ride it, it will naturally vibrate and you'll probably get a spongy break. So after about a week or so, I'll just do the same again, put the bleed pot in there, bleed the brake, get the air out. If you're not sure, get someone else to do them, but it's dead simple. Okay, one last thing we've got to do is put in the brake pads. So, so brake pads we're going to be using are these tiebike.co.uk, um, gorillaprakes.com. These are ceramic brake pads. They don't have cooling fins, but I found these work really well with the um, Dura Ace and Altegra discs. These are the Gorilla brakes, they got a spring. So we're just gonna put them in and put the bolt back through the hole. Dead easy. So I've um, attached that back. I've just realized these might not be the same as yours because I bought these pins because I didn't like the supplied Shimano ones, but they do the same job. So that's the calipers all done. Brake pads are in. So we've just got the drive train 
to do and uh, taping the bars. So, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, give me a thumbs up if you like the channel, tell everyone, share it, and we'll see you on the next Chorus House for the drivetrain. Take care, bye!